Okay, so I'm so happy to be here with you and from those of you who know me, I love stories and I love to tell stories and I love to listen to stories. So today I have a little story for you and a big message. So a um, couple of days ago, I had a talk on a phone with one lady that uh, wanted to ask me about my healings. She had some uh, issue and uh, with her body and she wanted to heal um, and she asked me what is the, um, the gate from this situation, how can she heal herself. So I asked her a couple of questions and one of the questions what was what is your dream, what is your big goal in life, what do you want. So she told me you mean to be healthy, I said mm, okay but when you are healthy what do you want. So uh, it's not easy, by the way, for a um, not healthy person to imagine what will I do when I will be healthy. Yeah, because when we are sick, we only think about how to be healthy. But I wanted to take her a little bit out of this situation to the biggest goal and purpose of her life. So what she says is, I, I want to travel. I want some... Um, big uh, house, I want to change the country that I live, I want to have some uh, uh, cars and sheep that will be mine and I want some... Um, she told me about external, very external stuff that you want. So, and I feel something is missing. I feel in my gut something is missing here and like I wait for the full answer and then she stops and she said, okay, that's all. Okay, so what I said to her is amazing dream you have and I wish you all the best, <laughs> but what is missed there is you, having you. You didn't mention that you want relationship with yourself, um, love to yourself, love to... to to people around you. Um, this energy of connection that I have me before I have all those big um, external stuff. Do I have me? Do you have you? This is a very important question and um, inside those quest this question I want to um, I want you to pay attention to something. When we have some illness, and I want to talk to people to, that have some kind of illness, some kind of uh, maybe pain or inconvenience in their body, usually we want to, to heal the body, right? We want to, to, to have the treatment for the body. We want to understand maybe uh, emotional things that I need to do in order to release and all this is okay, but what we need to understand is that the illness in the body, the pain in the body has a purpose. It comes, the illnesses comes actually to heal us from inside. We try to heal the illness, we try to heal the pain. But actually what is going on is that this pain is only a signal. It's only a sign for us to start to look more deeply in ourselves, in our connection between me and myself, between me and my body, between me and my intuition, between me and my emotion, between me and my soul, and yes, between me and my people, like the people that surround me. But the relationship, the first relationship is the relationship me with myself. And it's a whole system. It's a whole system of connections because we have in ourselves, if I talk to adult people, so we have in ourselves also our inner child part, this part that remembers how we felt like children 
what kind of feelings did we have, traumas that we had, um, maybe regrets, um, people that hurt us, um, happiness that we have, everything, like all the combination of our history is inside us. So if we want to really connect to me, like something that called me, I suggest to start to know and to be familiar with all my parts, my inner child, my physical body and his feelings and what he wants to tell to me because every second our body talking with us, are we listening? Our emotions, what we do with anger, what we do with um, sadness, what we do with happiness, all those fear, yeah, what we do with those emotions, whether we um, keep them inside or we can be in contact with this energy and make her flow. Are we in contact with our soul and what we're doing here in this life? And so what I want to, you to go from this um, video to your life is to ask this simple question. Do I have me in my life? Do I have me? And if you have some pain in your life, whether it's physical pain, emotional pain, some kind of sickness, illness that coming back again and again and again, or inconvenience in your life, any inconvenience, just try this thought. Maybe, just maybe, this come to make you more closer to who you are. So before we try to get rid of something, let's say thank you to it, even if it's painful, and find a way, find the people that can help us to see ourselves in a true light, to connect ourselves to ourselves, and not forget that because this is the source of all. This is the source. We, all, we always need to come back to the connections, connections between me and myself, connections between me and the people in my life. And from there, do the healing. And from there, go to all our dreams, to all our dreams that can be external, but they will come from inside out. And it's so much different. It's so much different. Okay, to have something in our life that resonates with our feeling of connection. So then everything that I will have in my life will be blessed in the same frequency and will stay in my life. Not only I will go to this trip and then I will forget about it or I will have this house and then something will happen there. So no, when I have me and my energy in a connection, then the things in my life appear in much more real and true appearance for me. So existence, appearance, okay? So I'm very happy to talk with you. I'm very happy to share with you this message. I hope you are doing well. I hope you are much better after this video. <laughs> you can write me in the comments. You can uh, be in contact with me also in my social media, in the Instagram, and I will be happy to hear from you. Comments, questions, blessings, everything, everything, everything. I love you and I bless you and I hug you from my heart.